improving success rates in an IVF program because many a time the success rates of 35-40% is quoted. So how do you make it 75-80%? to 80%? Step number one, the medication that you use should be the best quality so that you get good quality eggs. We want good quality eggs. We want a good quality sperm. So preparation of sperm should be done in a microfluidic technique so that you get the best harvest of sperm to inject into the egg. Now, preparing the patient as such is very important. Before we start the process, you give them a diet chart, lots of proteins, lots of badam, pista, cashew nut, walnuts, uh, sprouts, all are an egg every day. Avoid coffee and avoid tea. Now, the next step, improving the quality of the embryo. Normally, ICSI means you see sperm 400 times big. And once the sperm is ready, you inject into there, create the baby, put it in an incubator, which is an open system. Daily, take the baby out, check under the microscope for development and put it back. With this, success rates around 65%. Now, how do you increase this to 80%? You will see sperm 7,000 types big. That's called MC. Select the top class sperm, inject into there, create the baby, put it in an incubator called the embryoscope. And also, there is an inbuilt camera. So automatic recording of development happens and software analyzes all this data and it selects the best embryos and gives it scores. This is called IDA score. And you select the two top ranking embryos and before putting it into the uterus, you check the thickness of the shell. If it is very thick, then you use the laser to thin it down and then you coat it with embryo glue and then you put it inside the uterus. Then your success rates move up to 80%.